It's Jess. Hi. Well, you're catching me at the end of my day. Uh, I decided to do a vlog today, so let's just go ahead and rewind. Hi. So I really don't have any other options today other than to vlog because I have a whole bunch of unexpected errands that came up. I'm being charged twice for um, electricity between my company of the building and the electric company and nobody seems to be able to give me a straightforward answer. And then the parking structure of my building is pretty much inaccessible. I have to walk around the whole property to access it uh, between there and the management office, which is again annoying. And then I need to go to the bank, I need to go to the pet store, I need to go several other places and don't have any other option but to vlog so I guess you're just gonna come along with me I'd like to think that I'm not a person who complains a lot but I do tend to kind of voice my opinions which come across a lot as complaining or like griping or something but let's like talk about all the sneaky bills that companies add on um, I had my um, my um, uh, phone service provider add on an extra charge for the use of the service but that's already what you're paying every month so I don't know what the hell the use of the service meant and they just kept going round and round in circles with me and basically wouldn't let me um, get a refund or anything like that then my internet service was charging me for my current residents as well as all my past residences and I didn't know it because it was on an auto pay and I guess I just didn't pay attention to it so I had to call and go through my bank and get the charges reversed and it's taken weeks and then now the building that I live in is charging me the same amount of money as my electric company is charging me for electricity but they're telling me that it's for the use of the technology to get the electricity and then my electric bill is for the electricity I use. So rest assured, I will be checking my lease, um, and because that's not what was explained to me when I signed my lease, of course, because I wouldn't have signed a stupid lease like that. Um, and then uh, my doctor's office doesn't accept debit card payments anymore. So I have to go to the bank and get cash every week for this. It's, it's n totally ridiculous and unfair the way that this society is set up, and it's just getting worse every day. Like, what's been going on? You know, I know so many things are in retrograde right now and like things are going on in the planets, but like, does that affect businesses being assholes too? On a separate note, um, the job that I have is scheduling me the minimum amount of part-time hours that they can. So I had to get a second part-time job and I'm starting that this Wednesday and I'm very excited about it. And this business is allowing me um, the option of working at other locations when this location can't give me the hours that I need which is totally opposite from the other job that I have so I'm very grateful for that I'm very grateful to be starting this second job soon and I'm looking forward to learning new things and um, you know just expressing gratitude for that this struggling 20s thing is no joke though um, when it gets down to you emptying out your change jar to finish paying rent like it's it's good that we're able to just get by but uh, just being so strapped all the time it's just it's draining you know and i'm sure so many of you other young adults have been in the same boat and you know older generations say that they've been in the same boat before too and that they made it and that they were able to take care of things on their own but again bills were totally different then and they didn't have student loans and ridiculous charges just in short just please send me positive energy I really need it and a huge cash inflow from a new income would be great.
So despite being on a budget for myself with my food, you know, Bjorn still gets his own food. Mostly because if I try to give him new food right now, he's gonna get sick. So he needs to maintain, maintain his normal diet. But also because he's cute and I like him, despite the fact that he did this this morning. That wasn't bad. Just a quick run in. Um, price was marked differently than what it rang up in the system, so I did get a little bit of a where it was supposed to be. So that's good. And I also need to change Bjorn's food again because the food that I had him on originally was the kitten food. Then I put him on salmon food because I know salmon he really likes. Um, but then he was gaining weight, so I put him back on chicken food. But then I found this like offshoot branch of the brand that I like to give him that is for weight control. So he doesn't get the little fatty pouch and be a fatty boy. On a separate topic and a completely unrelated note, it is my birthday coming up. So for those of you who know me, like if you'd like to know what I want for my birthday, you could just always ask. Another little interesting tidbit is that I was thinking to myself, you know, I live in a place where everything is pretty accessible by either walking there or biking there. So I was thinking like maybe I'll turn my car back in at the end of the lease and that way I can save like $600 a month between car payments, insurance payments, and parking. So I texted this guy today who was working with me at the, at the place where I'm leasing my car and I told him my idea and he goes, oh there's a penalty for that. So there's a penalty for turning my car in at the end of the lease and then not leasing a new car. Another system that's totally fucked up. So spoiler alert, my second job is going to be at Starbucks. And I came in here and I ordered my drink as I usually do. And I was like gonna be getting the change out of the bottom of my purse to get my drink. And she's like, oh no, don't worry about it. You're, you're a new partner. And I was like, Oh my god, what a blessing! So a little blessing for the day on top of getting a good price at Petco. So on top of all of this stuff that's going on with bills, the universe is still sending little blessings my way. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that it continues and I continue to get extra hours and, and make up the money that I need and that all of these other um, questionable bill choices come through okay. So after all that, I've got home, I started some laundry, and now I'm gonna do some yoga to try to like bring myself down because I'm pretty frustrated. <laughs> Thanks to a certain boyfriend who shall remain nameless, every time I come to the cutting board, somebody thinks he's about to get food. Hmm. It's not for you. It's only for me. No. Okay, just finished working out. I'm gonna make myself a little protein smoothie. I have the Vega proteins, which I mentioned in a previous video, and but now I'm using these uh, raw organic superfood which is very green so i'm covering it up with some orange juice but i also have some kale and i even put in some cherries so we're gonna see how this turns out so it ended up being a little bit too green so i also added banana and peanut butter and it tastes amazing now. So it just goes to show you that peanut butter does fix just about everything. I got 
got him this little like gerbil ball thingy and you would fill it up with treats and then he has to play with it in order to get his treats. <gasps> Ooh, found one. Ooh. So I make the uh, opening of the gerbil ball small, uh, smaller and smaller and then he has to play with it more and more. Ooh, I'm shaking. And then after he's used to doing the treats, I put his food in it. No more fat cat. Okay, it's already dinner time. And yes, I'm eating dinner kind of late, but I made this really yummy like um, grilled burrito thing. It has beans, onions, um, bell peppers, some guacamole, some vegan cheese um, with some seasonings. And I'm gonna use my Taco Bell mild sauce and it looks like it's gonna be really good. After this, I'm gonna take a shower and settle in for the evening with a nice drink. So the vlog wasn't very exciting, but I'm glad got to take you guys along with me and maybe spark some conversation or debate. Um, if you have any comments, make sure to leave them down below or tweet at me or comment on my Instagram. Um, make sure to give the like and subscribe button a one-two punch and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.